Um, having a building would allow us to have uh, more, more opportunities to reach out to others and more creative opportunities um, just to bring people in. So whether that's through um, the mentoring program we have or providing for the physical needs of others or even just showing God's love to people, um, I think it would be great to be able to invite people into our home and just to show them that we care about them and that God cares about them. I think a church building would be such a huge light within the, church, within the community um, that we can share the gospel to have a consistent place that the community can come to and know that they can have a safe place, a place that they know that these people care about us. Having a welcome environment is an extremely big part of, um, I think, bringing people in to the, um, uh, in the high school age, bringing them to Christ. Um, where we are now, just you know, Wednesday's night, when Wednesday nights are uh, at a shed in the almost middle of nowhere. And while to me, I've been here for longer than most, and I'm used to it by now. Someone who's coming in may not find that so uh, comforting and welcoming. Um, but I think if we had a you know a room at the church and somewhere that was comfortable and you know it didn't feel so awkward to some new people coming in. Uh, having a facility that is available 24-7 uh, would, would facilitate opportunities in and around what we do today. So uh, I, I think there's a host of things that, that we could do that we're probably not reaching for today just simply because the facility uh, options are a little bit restrained today. I, I really think one of the greatest benefits will come from maybe the opportunity for people to serve. Um, if there's people out there as these ministries grow, it's going to create a lot of opportunity for people to serve. And as I look on my life at Bethany, a lot of growth has come from serving. For me, in fixing men's breakfast, it would be a huge relief not to have to carry all the big roasters back and forth from the farmhouse to the community room. I prep the food at home and then uh, bring it and get it in roasters and skillets and <laughs> get it all, all prepared to carry over and serve in the community room. The guys are terrific about coming in and grabbing those and helping, but it presents a fair amount of, of problems that would not be necessary, you know, if we had a facility that had a kitchen. <laughs> um, our outings we do, we have youth outings every now and again. We go to people's houses and because um, that's really the only place we have enough space for it. But with all this new space we'd have with the new building, I feel like we'd have a lot of those meetings at the church. Um, and again, uh, if I'm someone new coming to the church, going to someone's house, um, out where also I don't know who they are, I don't know where they live, I don't know any of the people there, that's just one more thing that, you know, is going to make me not want to come, and that's not what we want. Whether they come for counseling ministries, whether they come for just, how can you help me? With just a general question, uh, that's just a place that they can go to. And that is building a rapport, hopefully, of, of being a light in the community. I, I don't want people to drive by and, oh, there's Bethany, that's a, nice, that's a neat building. But rather, there's a church that, you know, you'll hear the Word of God. You'll hear the Word of God preached without apology. One of the constraints we have whenever we're looking at uh, serving the flock and doing either uh, regular ministry or something new is how do we handle the, the physical part of that? And uh, we're called to uh, preach the gospel and prepare the saints, and that requires a space. And so it, Five Points has been a wonderful facility for us. It takes a lot of work to set it up and tear it down. No one's complaining about that. But if we were ever looking to grow further, um, that's a real limitation in, in the times that I've been involved in. Uh, organizing or thinking about that, uh, that, that really is a limitation that um, prevents us from doing some of the things. So I think God could be tremendously glorified by a new facility. Mm -hmm.